Hello guys, welcome to Passiveburn. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start your email marketing campaign by using HubSpot completely for free. As a beginner, the things that you need to start your email marketing campaign, everything is available inside this HubSpot completely for free. And HubSpot is one of the best CRM in the um, online world basically. And CRM means customer relationship management software. And email marketing actually as is a part of this uh, customer relationship management right because by using email marketing campaign you can manage the relation or you can balance the relationship with your customer or clients so inside this hubspot software there have a lot of functionalities that i will explore or that i will show you uh, step by step in another video i'll add this playlist link in the i button of this video anyway guys now without further ado let's go to the dashboard of hubspot and let's explore how you can start your email marketing campaign completely for free and i will give the url of this hubspot in the description of this video just click on the description and click on this get started free and submit your email and password and open an account after opening an account on hubspot you will get this type of interface and from here to set up your um, email marketing campaign you have to set up some settings at first that's why go to the setting icon just click here on this gear icon then you will get this type of interface there have a lot of functionalities guys but to start our email marketing campaign all these functionalities are not important so what are important uh, just come to this general section and from here set up your profile information as you can see there have name first name last name language and, and then time and date format phone number these things set up uh, depending on your need and then come to this email section after coming to this email section as you can see there have one emails from here you have to connect your personal email basically just click here connect personal email and then from here select turn on inbox automation and then click on this connect your inbox and then here submit your email let's say this is my email then click on this next and then they are saying that your email is hosted by google we recommend connecting gmail so now what you have to do just click on this connect gmail and then here they will provide you some privacy policy and then just click on this continue and then from here select your uh, gmail just you have to authorize it let's say this is my gmail flygarden at the rate of gmail.com and from here allow everything you have to allow these permissions from here and you are done guys and the account is connected so in this way you have to connect your email at first and then you will get this type of interface see guys i have added here this email you will see here this email now they have extension if you want you can use the extension of hubspot but let's say in this video i will not use the extension so i'll click here on this no thanks and see here this email has been added as you can see here is the email you can install the add-in you can disable it you can remove it from here and then they have email alias you can add email alias you can add email signature also here let's say as we are set up honey you can take it let's say as we are setting up our email marketing campaign in this case email signature is important i think so if i click here on this edit email signature then from here we have to set up our email signature and see there have simple email signature they have html email signature also if you want you can also add here html email signature but let's say i will use here a simple email signature let's say jubo and here i will bold it and then here let's say i'll insert the website url let's say website url is www.pacivan.com and here let's say i will insert one uh, image so i'll just click here insert image and then you will get this type of interface and from here i have to upload the image also you can browse your folders if you have previously uploaded images but let's say i'll upload one of my images. just click here upload images and from here let's say i'll upload this one one and then see in uh, this uh, image will be uploaded now i can select this image and this image will be uploaded here basically so these are the things hope you get idea in this way you can create your email signature here hope you get idea guys and after adding these things what you have to do just scroll down and from here they have email extension you can use their email extension but in case of email marketing this email extension is not very important that's why i'm not installing but if you want if you want more features more more functionalities then you can uh, install their hubspot uh, sales extension for gmail also i'm not installing and then they have notification you can turn on the notification and if you turn on the notification 
then you will get instant uh, sales notification basically you have to allow the notification from here i'm not uh, allowing right now but you can allow from here and after doing all these things now what you have to do you have to scroll down from this left hand side and here you will get one option named marketing as you can see here I have the marketing option under these tools and from here you will get another feature email you have to go to this email section again actually there have two email section one email is um, under this general as you can see under this general section one email is available and another email sitting is available under this marketing section so we have done our general section um, uh, actually now we will explore this uh, email which is under marketing and if we come to this email section from here we have to configure the footer of our email just click here on this edit and then here we have to insert the company name let's say the company name is let's say here at the information actually company name passive and everything i have added and then just click on this save and this information will be added at the footer of your website basically uh, sorry not of your website at the footer of your uh, email marketing uh, template hope you get idea after that they have branding for classical editor see they have email body with you can uh, change this body with you can change email body pad, padding you can change your primary font you can change your secondary font from here if you want you can change your primary font size secondary font size and then uh, primary font color secondary font color everything you can change from here i'm keeping it as it is but in your case you can change it depending on your brand color or brand font everything basically hope you get idea then they have border color option they have set email border color automatically manually set email border color do not add a border around the email body but let's say i want to set the email border color automatically so i'll select this one hope you get idea then they have personalization if i go to this personalization section from here we have to set up at first the contact property default if i just click here edit default here you can add default value basically as you can see they have additional email addresses you can add one default um, value of the email address that means uh, whenever you have to insert any email address by default this email address will be added here or if you want you can add here all form submission for a contact all allow, um, owner ids uh, all team ids you can here insert the default value basically and when this data will be important or will be needed in your campaign this default value will be added by default here i'm not adding any data here because i do not want to add any default value but if you want you can add your default value basically from here similarly they have company property default if you want in the company property uh, default value then you can add let's say you want to add about us now uh, if you add about us uh, things by your own it's completely nice but if you do not add then this about us that you will add here this about us will be added by default in your uh, marketing uh, campaign or your in your marketing template basically hope you get idea but i'm not adding any default property here and then they have rss date and time if you want you can also set up your rss date and time from here then they have subscription if i go to the subscription section from here you can set up uh, this subscription preference page that means the page recipient uh, see when they click the manage preference link in your email so in your email there will be one option where people can manage their preference basically if they click on this manage preference option then to which page they will be visited as you can see from here you can select uh, to which page they will be visited you can edit this page from here you can preview this page also from here as you can see here this is the page this is the page actually and if you want to edit this page it's also possible just click here edit this page and from here you can edit this page basically hope you get idea guys and um, similarly you can set up here subscription update confirmation page you can set up here unknown contact subscription preference page and then they have don't send to unengaged contact and that means uh, if you enable it then it will improve your email sending uh, quality and score and resubscription email you can also enable resubscription in a uh, email basically from here but to enable these functionalities you have to publish one resubscription email at first just click here on this publish email let me click here and let me show you how it will look like see here basically you have to design one resubscription email then you can enable it now how to design this template that i will show you after some time just wait some time guys then they have complaints copy email that means automatically bcc all outing messages where 
they can be reviewed for complaints later you can enable this option also from here here you have to insert the recipient email i'm not inserting but if you want you can add basically and the last option is very important option here you can enable the opt-in uh, email here you you can enable it but to enable it you have to publish the opt-in email basically just click here and then here you can drag and drop uh, the email template you can also use their classical editor so what do you have to do to design this template just click here let's say i'll drag and drop and see here is the editor guys there have a lot of functionalities that i will explore after some time but by default this is the uh, appearance basically and let's say i will review and publish this uh, template i'm not uh, changing anything i'll just review and publish this template let's say i will publish okay i and their subject is recurred so i have to insert the subject because i have added here one subject line and then i'm good to go uh, now i think yes i can publish it now so here is the publish and mm, now i can publish the opt-in email i can here add any confirmation page if i want i can enable the option um, for some page only and i can disable the option for some page also but uh, i'll enable it for all pages let's say and then i'll just click on this publish uh, opt-in email so in this way the opt-in email will be published now if i exit from here as i publish the opt-in email now i can enable the opt-in email from here see i can just turn on it so these are the things so if you get idea you can create a new page for your confirmation page but you can do it by your own just by clicking here i'm not exploring these features because it, it will take a lot of time basically but i will explore all these features in my um, later videos that i have added in the i button of this video you can watch this playlist anyway guys our basic setup has been done now one thing is uh, left here subscription type you have to create the sub subscription type now how this subscription type will help you and by using the subscription type type you can segmentize your audience let's say some of your audience are coming from youtube some of your audience are coming from maybe Twitter. So you can segmentize your audience by different uh, filter basically by using this subscription type. So see uh, one subscription type has been created. To create new subscription type, just click here, create subscription type. And here you can select the language. Let's say I'll select here um, English. Um, yes, English and subscription name. Let's say uh, English is speaking people and here description let's say people who speak in english and then just create it and this um, subscription type will help you to segmentize your audience basically after that they have tracking if you want you can also set up the tracking and if you want you can also set up your custom smtp from here but i'm not uh, setting up these things but if you want you can add these things now our main uh, features i will show uh, to set up the email marketing campaign what you have to do you have to just click here on this marketing and from here just click on this email and after clicking on this email you will get uh, almost this type of interface what you have to do you have to come to this marketing section and from here you have to click on this email so these are the things and then from here just click here on this create email and here they have regular email automated email blog or rss generally we use this regular email so i will explore this one right now so i'll just click the first one and then here you will get a lot of template as you can see there have some basic template there have some more templates um, that are designed actually you can use these templates if you want you can also see the preview from here just click here on this preview and then you will be able to see the preview of this email template as you can see here this is the preview this is the desktop preview and this is the mobile preview basically so these are the things now let's say from here i will choose one maybe i will choose um maybe let's say the third one i'll choose just select the one that you like and then you will be redirected to this um, editor and from here you can edit your templates basically see there have a step by step instruction you can just drag and drop these uh, things from here let's say you want to add one image so just drag and drop in this image se section here and then select the image just click here select image and then you can upload your image also from here but if you have previously uploaded image you can also use these images from here basically but let's say i will upload one of the image just click here upload image and from here let's say i will upload maybe maybe in this image and then just click on this open and then add this image from here select the image and then it will be added and then what do you want 
let's say you want to add mm, some section so if i just disable it let's say i want to add two column here you can also add two column three column four column as you can see there have different types of column let's say i want to add two column so i'll just drag and drop these columns from here let's say i'll just drag and drop this layout okay see they're saying that multiple section are not supported in full width email so as it's a full width email that's why we cannot add here multiple section but if it's not a full width email then you can easily add multiple section here basically so these are the things okay we will not add multiple section we will add here one section only and then let's say at the footer we want to add our social media handles so i'll just drag and drop the social media handles here and then see here facebook linkedin twitter instagram has been added if you want to add more just click here add and from here let's say you want to add maybe uh, tiktok so just add it and here insert your tiktok url let's say www w dot tiktok dot com let's say this is your tiktok url so in this way you can add here uh, any type of social media that you want to add and in every section you can add different types of padding let's say here if i just double click on this section on this image section see you can replace this image you can uh, remove this image you can add here alternative text you can uh, change the height or width you can here show as maximum width on mobile device and then you can add link on this image you can set up the alignment of this image you can add padding so if you just double click on any section you will get more edit feature here basically you can add padding here see on this text also so lots of features are available i hope you get idea if you want to add image you can add you can add text you can add button you can add divider let's say i will add one divider in this section so see the divider will be added see and guys here the divider has been added here hope you get idea you can add social media handle and as i have added here this social media handles you can add videos if you want you can add footer you can add product and you can add more options see if i go to this more section then they have html email they have um, one line of text also so you can add your html code basically from here and then they have saved section if you have any saved section you can add this saved section here so these are the things let me go back let's say these are the things this is my template let's say uh, i will not add anything I, um, but if you want you can add anything that you want if you want you can add video you can add your products you can add your footer anything you can add and then uh, just click on the setting but one another thing i want to show you previously i have said that there will have one um, button by which people can set up their preference as you can see this is the manage preference option by clicking on this manage preference people can set up the preference and we have designed this uh, preference um, page previously hope you can remember guys after editing all these things now what we have to do we have to go to this setting section and from here we have to insert our first name we have to insert from which email we want to send the mail if you have multiple email connected then you can select your email um, basically from here you have to set up the subject line let's say uh, test template uh, let's say this is the subject line if you want you can also add emojis here let's say this is the emoji also if you want you can personalize your uh, subject line you can add primary company you can add contact name you can add uh, office location subject type if you want you can add here let's say here i will add let's say uh, hello hello and then let's say i will add the contact name hello and then let's say i will add here contact uh, name here let's say name if i search a name let's say if i can find anything yes first name if i want you can also add the first name default value you can all add the default value hey uh, let's say gentleman uh, maybe yes this is the gentleman let's say insert so in this way you can personalize the subject line also you can also add preview text let's say here is the preview text and you can personalize this preview text also from here you can set up the language subscription type now here is the subscription type hope you can remember guys previously we have created subscription type and when i was creating subscription type i said you that you can segmentize your audience by using subscription type and i have created here english speaking people this subscription type let's say when someone will reply or someone will do anything with this email they will be added inside this english speaking people subscription type you can select here or you can create here different subscription type and you can segmentize your audience basically 
and here you can uh, select a specific campaign you can create different campaign here just click here on this create campaign and then you can create the campaign then they have plain text and web version you can also add the plain text you can customize the plain text of your um, um, email template basically as you can see here is the plain text if you want you can um, edit this plain text from here so these are the things also they have web version if you want to enable the web version you can also enable the web version you have to just insert the uh, page title here and here you have to insert the slang let's say page title is test web version and see here is the slang and you can copy this link from here and you can unpublish this page on a specific date if you want from here also so these are the things and after that we have send or schedule you can send it right now you can also schedule it from here you have to set up your uh, contact let's say i'll set up all contact level as influencer all contact level as uh, champion you can here set up in this way see all contacts associated with the target account let's say i'll select this one and this one and then uh, here you can also select do not send to any specific uh, contact you can select now how you can add this contact if you go to HubSpot and from here they have on contact option just go to this contact section and very easily you can add your contact details or your customers details just what you have to do you have to click on this create contact as you can see I have uh, added here two contact from here just click here on this create contact you can easily add your contact details and from here you have to select this contact list basically hope you get idea and then you can send them right now you can schedule it for later also let's say i'll send it right now so i'll just click here send now and then there have the automation if you want you can enable the automation also from here but i think i'll not enable that so i'm not enabling the automation we are done guys now what i have to do i have to just click on this review and here the good thing is they will provide you this warning as you can see i haven't added facebook url linkedin url twitter url instagram url i haven't added contact dot first name um, and contact dot um, first name these things they will provide you these things basically but let's say i will not add these things here i'll just publish it so i'll just click on this send but before sending it you can also see the preview from here just click here on this preview button and then you will see the preview of web and mobile both here as you can see this is the preview of web um, as you can see this is the preview of uh, not web this is the preview of um, desktop version as you can see this is the preview and this is the preview of mobile at the uh, right hand side so these are the things now let me go back and then let me just publish it or let me just send it just click here on this send and boom guys and the email will be sent it will take some time maybe but then the email will be sent and then you will be redirected to this type of interface from here you will see in the open date the click rate the reply rate you will get a very nice statistics here basically from here as they just send this uh, email and i have sent to only this uh, two people that's why i'm not seeing anything here as statistics but you will see here very nice looking statistics if you use it very professionally guys hope you get idea guys how you can um, run the email marketing campaign on hubspot and it's completely free for beginners guys you do not have to pay anything but after some time when you will grow more then maybe you can upgrade to their paid plan also but see it's completely free to set up everything here so these are the things hope you get idea and if you think in this hubspot software can be helpful for you then you can go to the description of this video and you can get this hubspot for free but just just by clicking on the link given in the description thank you so much guys for watching this video hope this video is helpful for you and if you think this video is helpful for you then please consider subscribing this channel thanks again for watching this video